Vauxhall Takeover, PSA promises no job cuts at Vauxhall. PSA promises to honor existing job guarantees at Opel and Vauxhall at least until the end of the decade. PSA Peugeot Citroën has promised to honor existing job guarantees at Opel and Vauxhall were the French carmaker to go through with its acquisition of General Motors European operations. PSA Group CEO, Carlos Tavares, met with Opel Vauxhall's European Works Council to discuss job guarantees and labor agreements, as well as site protection. The PSA Group said, PSA Group reaffirmed its commitment to respect the existing agreements in the European countries and to continue the dialogue with all parties. In the UK, the job guarantees mean the production of the current Vauxhall Astra at Ellesmere Port and the Vivero van in Luton is guaranteed until the end of the decade, after which the company will decide where to produce the next generation vehicles. General Motors Europe has nine plants in Europe, but despite reassurances from PSA that all will remain in operation under the French carmaker's ownership, experts still believe that for PSA to make a profit from the acquisition it would have to cut jobs and production in Europe, which they state is at overcapacity. John Colley, a professor at Warwick Business School said PSA has little choice but to close the UK Vauxhall plants to make the Opel acquisition work, as the cost of cutting jobs at the German plant would be far higher. However, not all share such pessimism. Gerald Rees, professor of motor industry economics at Cardiff Business School told Auto Express that Vauxhall's Ellesmere Port and Luton plants are some of the most efficient in Europe, and PSA would surely value this over any uncertainty associated with Brexit, or other geographical factors. UK's biggest union asks government to guarantee jobs. The UK's biggest union, Unite, has called for the government to grant Vauxhall similar post-Brexit assurances it promised Nissan, which prompted the Japanese carmaker to continue production at its Sunderland site, protecting over 7,000 jobs in the process. Unite boss, Len McCluskey met with business secretary Greg Clark and asked the government to guarantee Vauxhall similar assurances in order to protect jobs at the two UK plants. McCluskey said, the important thing for us is to get the government engaged so that we can defend British jobs. Clark has since met with PSA executives and promised the government's unbounded commitment to protect jobs at Vauxhall. The Prime Minister, Theresa May, is also to meet with PSA Chief Executive, Carlos Tavares, to discuss the potential takeover and its consequences in the UK. PSA The group behind Peugeot, Citroën and DS Cars already has dealings with Opel and is currently supplying the GM brand with components. For instance, the upcoming Vauxhall Grandland X, a new C-segment SUV headlining Vauxhall's SUV boom, will sit on a PSA platform. It'll get the EMP2 architecture underpinning the Peugeot 3008 and 5008 models, and could event be built at Peugeot's factory in Sachaz, France, alongside those two models. In an official statement, PSA Group said General Motors and PSA Group regularly examine additional expansion and cooperation possibilities. The group also confirmed that together with General Motors, it is exploring numerous strategic initiatives aiming at improving its profitability and operational efficiency, including a potential acquisition of Opel slash Vauxhall. However, PSA also made it clear that there can be no assurance that an agreement will be reached.